girls and boys, this is a demonstration on how to use SuperDoodle to write your name and create a little self-portrait. Let's look at some of the tools. First of all, and most importantly, is the pen tool. You'll need to click on it and see the border come around it, and then pick a color to write your name. Now, I am going to, first of all, if you look down here, my shapes are a little jaggedy. If you click on this bar and move it all the way to the right, you'll see it straightens it up. That tells the program to help straighten your lines as you write. It won't make them perfect, and you'll notice when you do yours, it's going to be tricky. And you can see mine aren't perfect either, so don't get stressed. It won't be like you're using a pencil at your desk. You will do your first name and your last name if you would like to. I'm just going to write Mrs. M. See, that one straightened out, but the other M didn't. But it's okay. Do the best we can. Now, if you make a mistake, you can go over here and grab this pencil eraser, click on it, and then go into your picture and gently erase what you didn't like. And then when you go back out, you will have to select the pen tool again to continue drawing. Now, I think to outline myself, I'm going to use black. Draw a circle for my face. If you are careful and do a pretty good job of making a circle and completely close your circle and touch where you began like this, the computer will straighten it out for you. I'm going to make my eyes green. Not perfect. Oops. I'm going to keep going because I don't have too much time. Okay. And let's do my mouth in red. If you click that again, it gets a little redder sometimes. Not this time. Okay. The rest of me, I think, we'll do with black. Ears. myself a neck. You can just do your upper body. Do your neck and your shoulders. You see again, not perfect. I'm just doing the best I can. Give me some lines for my arms. Okay, and because I go to Laurel, I'm going to click on the green and put an L in the middle. L is for Laurel. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So if you go over here, this button says undo. There we go. I got it back. Okay, now to color in my L, I'm going to click on the paint bucket and I'd like it to keep it green. And let's see if I can get the inside to turn green for me. Oh, I didn't want that. Let's undo and give it another shot. Oh. Okay, well I'm going to try something else. If I go down here and I click on this, you'll see that it changes the thickness of my line. So I'm going to go this way and then just color in with my pen tool my L. If one way doesn't work, try another. Okay. Okay. All right, let me. I think I'm going to leave it thick and do my hair. Now if you notice, this little teardrop on the right is a solid color and that means when you select this, it'll be a solid color. But if you want to mix your colors, click on it and you'll see the rainbow. I'm going to mix brown with some yellow for my hair. A little more brown, that looks pretty close. Give me some hair. And I might even move this over again. I don't mind it being, since it's my hair, being a little less straight. Starting to look a little like me. You'll do a much better job, I'm sure. Okay, last thing, some jewelry. A couple earrings. Oh, I think I'd like them to be purple. There we go. I'm running out of time. Okay, and girls and boys, when you're done, please raise your hand and I will come around and help you. And we'll print your paper and you'll be good to go. Once you have come back to your seat and have your paper in your hand, so that we're sure we got it printed, you may come right over here and if you click the garbage can that says clear, it will clear your screen. And when the curtains open, you have a blank sheet and just for fun, you can draw another picture, but please don't print this one. Okay, have fun.